Hello everybody. Hey, once more I'm gonna it's half time of the uh the Saints 49ers game. Once more I'm gonna get out of my uh comfort zone here and do a a booze re review. This is another uh distillery from here in Iowa. Um Cedar Ridge. I'm gonna do the uh Cedar Ridge bourbon. As you can see I've had some already. Not today. It's been over quite a length of time. Um this is um from barrel number 15, bottle number 44. Uh, this uh, this uh, Cedar Ridge started out as a winery, and I guess they make some pretty good wines. I'm not a wine drinker, so I don't know. And then they branched off into uh, distilling, and uh, it says, As Iowa's first micro distillery, we're used to being on the leading edge with firsts. And on July 1st, 2010, we launched Iowa's first bourbon called, since Prohibition era. Made, made from nearly 75% corn, Cedar Ridge bourbon whiskey is crafted in small batches in our European engineered 80-gallon pot still for a high-quality, smooth, premium bourbon that is receiving rave reviews at tasting events across the country and selling off the shelves. Recently, Colleen Graham, cocktails editor for the New York Times about .com, website paid us a visit. She was among the first national spirits reviewers to recognize the potential of our Clear Heart products. After a very lengthy review of our new bourbon, we were awarded a five star rating. Yes, that's out of five possible stars. Her comments included fantastic, ultra smooth and flavorable, a whiskey you want to sip straight, and she proclaimed Cedar Ridge a micro distillery to be reckoned with. And uh, they, they make, uh, I know they, they do a vodka and a gin and they do a couple rums, a light rum and a dark rum. I've never tried any of those. But I do like this, as you can tell from the bottle. So let me get this in my uh, little Cedar Ridge uh, tasting glass. and see what we have here. I'm just going to do, I'm probably not even going to do a two-parter. I won't warm, warm this up at all. But, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Rich, uh, this is a gold and amber color. Really nice looking, uh, really nice looking uh, bourbon. Let me give it a smell and see what we have. Okay, we got a sugary caramel scent. Get the alcohol, it's um, 80 proof, 40% ABV. Bit of citrus underneath. Uh, I know from experience, though, it's it's on the taste. I think this is only aged for uh, like a year and a half in uh, oak barrels. So it's fairly, fairly young for a bourbon. Uh, and then I think they use those same oak barrels to, uh, to age uh, one or two of the rums. So um, I'm sure that the rums might be interesting. I might, I'm not a real rum or vodka or gin fan, but uh, I know they do make them. So, and I've heard good things about them. So I may, may at least give the rum a try sometime. Um, so I'm going to get a taste on this and see what we have here. Okay, a little, get a little, get almost like a, almost like a, a Belgian uh, triple or something. You get, uh, you get a little clove, a little anise, a little nutmeg, well, more than a little of some of those. There might be a touch of cinnamon. A bready cereal type flavor, a little bit. You get to, you get a little, a little of the oak and the vanilla, and some rye too. I think that's what they. <coughs> I think they use seventy percent corn, and then the rest is rye. Um, it's got a nice um, spice finish. Um, it's dry, but uh, like a, a fruity, uh, medium to full body. It's a very tasty, uh, very tasty, very smooth, uh, very smooth bourbon. i am uh, been a Jack Daniels fan for years. I know it's technically not a bourbon, but uh, they call it Kentucky Sour Mash. But um, I still consider it a bourbon. So I'm going to give this, um, as a bourbon, I'm going to give this a good solid uh, 8.5 out of 10. Now while I finish this, like I said, it's a sipper, so I'm going to be on this a while. I'm going to go back to football game. Uh, till next time, everybody, cheers. And occasionally drink uh, good whiskey.